Hey warriors, jumping in here on this on this Thursday so that we can jump right into Psalm 6. Um, and in this particular, this is a prayer of David's, and in this particular prayer, he's really going through it. Um, and uh, it's, it says here, it's a prayer for mercy. And he starts right off by saying, Lord, don't rebuke me or punish me. Have mercy on me. So he is starting out, he is in repentance, and he's asking for God's mercy for whatever it is that he's asking here, hear him for uh, his mercy for. That was easy for me to say. And um, he's in repentance, like we should be always. We should be examining ourselves and coming to the Lord with um, the things, you know, the things where we need to repent, the things that we've done, the things we've said, the things we think, you know, we, we should always should be examining ourselves and coming to uh, him in repentance. This talks about this. I frequently mention uh, Revelations 2 and 3, two very important, it's all important, but two books in the Bible and Revelations that talk about uh, the messages to the churches. Um, and I think five out of the seven churches, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to go back and check that. He tells them they need to repent um, or, you know, it won't go well for them. And it's the same for us. We need to be before the Lord in repentance as he is here. And he's, he's really going through it. He says, I'm weak and I'm frail and I'm sick at heart. He's starting to even, you know, be his faith is even starting to be um, weak. And he's saying, heal me, Lord. How long before you rescue me? You know, we've all been here. <laughs> Uh, when we're going through our stuff and we're and we're praying and we're crying out to him and we're wondering when he's going to deliver us and restore us from all of the things that are going on in our lives. Um, and then he says, because if I'm dead and that's how bad it must have been, um, you know, what he was going through at the time, he was even af af afraid for his life. He says, if I'm dead, I can't remember you. I can't praise you from my, I cannot praise you from the, grave so please lord please help me and he goes on further to say i'm crying in my bed every night but here's the thing i've been noticing um with david as we're going through these psalms here he starts out with the stuff that he's going through but he always ends in hope and why does he end this way because he has a relationship with his Lord and his Savior. He knows who his God is. He knows that God's word is true. And he knows that God is a loving God. And he is a savior for his people. And he says, um, go away, my enemies. My Lord has heard me and he will answer my prayers. So he knows that no matter what he's going through, God will answer his prayers. And it's the same for each of us. We have to know that. Um, and in that knowing, in that relationship that we've created with him, um, it helps us to go through what we're going through. Um, and no matter how bad it is, it's also character building because David, the Lord had a lot for David. David was going to be king and um, needed some of the things that he was going through were for his perfection, to grow him, to, to make him into a more stronger person, build his character, bring him to the Lord, know um, and depend on the t one true king, which is Jesus, our Christ and our Savior. And that's where he was. That's where he was. He had his full dependence on Jesus. He was looking to him always, knowing that even though he was going through it and he was still, you know, saying, how long, Lord, before you do answer my prayer, knowing that the Lord was going to answer his prayer and get him through it. And he ends by saying, and let all of you be disgraced and ashamed for what you have done to me. And Jesus also was going to take care of that as well, as we know the story of David. His enemies were disgraced and, and ashamed, just like ours um, can be when we trust in him. So I hope that gives you hope. David always had it. He always depended on his Lord and Savior, and we can too. 
when we know who he is and we trust in him. Have a great Thursday, and I'll see you with Psalm 7.